This might get weird. Are we rolling? We're rolling. Cheers, Grace Helbig. Cheers, Memory Heart. Oh, yeah. Wow. White Claw. Grace is drinking the White Claw. Yeah, I came in and I asked for a seltzer and the Memory was like, oh, we're all out. And I saw she had White Claw. I was like, same thing. Two things. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm getting a seltzer delivery. It's just sometime between seven and eight. <laughs> Went for some variety packs, um, but also no judgment. I'm drinking one of the kombuchas that you have to be 21 to buy. Wait, it's that's... not a hard kombucha. It's not like a six percent alcohol one. It's just it. Is there's a really chance a it fermented enough to where it could be literally one percent alcohol. So it's like a scratch off of alcohol, or there's a chance that it might Depending... have gotten some alcohol yes, content. Yes, because in there. I didn't realize that these the like the kombuchas that have the brown bottle yeah mean they like think there could be a little bit of alcohol in it oh, okay yeah it like denotes brown bottling versus clear but when i was still working in an office in uh-huh. new york there was like two months there where i i thought i was just getting healthy but i was like if i drink one of these on an empty stomach on the way to work i have the best morning i'm having a great day i didn't know i was drinking like a three percent alcohol <laughs> booze on an empty stomach I every mean, day and then walking into accounting and being like what's going and you're like, what if I just put white wine in my thermos? Yeah, I mean, that would not be easier. I Kombucha, in theory, wonderful. I, I like the ginger tones of it, but the, the stuff in it. Well, the, the like, I want to put it the through mother, a colander. Yeah. I mean, it really We've is. We've talked about this before, but it is so freaking gross It really to is me. like someone hocked a loogie into yeah. a bottle, oh. like playing a trick on you. But what I do is I drink most of it, and then when I get to the end, I abandon that shit. Okay. But see, I'm always worried <laughs> that it's like, I feel like every sip is like fear factor of like, is it going to touch my lips? Because when, it when it does, I'm done. I did for a minute there when I first started drinking it, get one of those like, you know, the mini colanders? Yeah, you know, mm-hmm. a little mesh one, yeah. and pour it through. But then really? I didn't want to see what I came thought, out. I don't want to see. I don't know what's worse, <laughs> having this brown bottle where I, it's a mystery bottle if I can't see it, uh-huh. so it doesn't exist. But if it touches my lips, it's like literally like going in the ocean. Yeah, and you no, can't totally. See You're like, something touch me. Something touch me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so something gross. Touch- no, you swallow and you're like convince yourself that was all liquid it convince all, yourself yeah. you didn't feel something uh slide on your throat no that was my own mucus it was my own mucus oh, oh. sorry well, but yeah speaking of white claws so oh shit well we're hitting our favorite news <sighs> out of the gate well it's so massive now i feel like when we right. first started talking about white claws it was this like light-hearted silly thing that we all really we liked. Lo- well, also, I heard about White Claw from Chip because... Yeah, because that's, I think, who I got uh, the first idea of White Claw from. Yeah, because they are on the road. Yes. And, so, and he was trying to be keto. Mm-hmm. Um, and so they were like, oh, we started... The, the crew started just drinking these because it's like not as bad for you. There aren't carbs in it. Right. And But then when we're talking like this, it makes it sound like we're people who are like, I mean, we like the band... Before they were big. Oh my god! I know this is the worst thing we, to say. We were into White Claw before sorority girls were making costumes of White Claw. Yeah, and also, yeah, there's like someone sent us this Pinterest shirt that's like White Claw while the turkey thaws, and it's for Thanksgiving. Really? Yeah. Uh, uh, we're spending I mean, Thanksgiving together, and we might need to get twenty of those. But it's like a little perfect Pinterest-looking photo on nice. Instagram, but. So I was over in Western Massachusetts uh, over the weekend. Yeah, we look, I know I read somewhere someone said Halloween lasts longer in L.A. than most relationships. And it's true because yes. we've been talking about Halloween forever, uh, but we still got more to catch up on. We still have more because I want to hear all about because we right. I was there because Elliot was doing some stand up shows and I was like, I'll tag along. And so we flew out on a red eye uh, Fuck, already. Halloween That's night. insane. Yeah, I'll tell you about that later. But. We go and he's performing in this casino in Western Massachusetts, which, which is now I know why you took a red eye to yeah. Massachusetts. You fucking love a casino. I yeah, I mean I love a casino, but I also was like I like adventure and also like overshot my ability to travel overnight like I used to be able to do. Yeah. But so the first night that he was doing shows, I was like I'll give you space so you can practice your material and I went downstairs to the casino and then realized I was just like just constantly losing money so I went to the bar and I was like I'm just gonna sit at the bar and so I started talking to the bartender about like what good restaurants are around here we're gonna be here for the next two days and then this middle-aged man and woman like slam up into the bar next Uh to me and this woman goes you got spike seltzer I'm talking white claws (laughs) and I was like 
Whoa, <gasps> bitch is going off. Uh, it was amazing. And I'm look- talking White Claws. You got Spike Seltzer here? I'm talking White Claws. And I was like, this oh. is amazing. Oh, you had the Massachusetts accent. Yeah. Cool. Uh, uh, it was so claws. fantastic. And then the bartender I was talking to was just like, yeah, we have it. And then she immediately asked for a straw because they started talking about the straw rules. Claw with a straw? And then her husband chimed in and was like, it costs bartenders $180 a fine if they are not asked to be given a straw to customers. Wait, what? Yeah, her husband came in hot with weird random knowledge about straws. Hold on, he <laughs> knows the white claw straw laws? It's not even white claw straw laws. It's just straw laws, it's just straw laws across laws. the board. Straw laws apparently... Like you have shit. Is that just a Massachusetts thing? I have no idea, but you have to be asked for it because they didn't have any alternatives. Like yeah. it's plastic straws. They didn't have one of those pieces of po- a bucatini. Yeah. A they, piece of pasta with a hole in it. They didn't have that paper towel that's rolled up that like sobs oh. into your drink. And then you're just eating. Like blah, blah, blah. Uh, then you just feel like you ate, drank kombucha. You're like, what just dissolved yeah. into my mouth while I was drinking a liquid? Yeah. So this was all within a minute of itself. I love that her. This has gone down. Yeah. And did they have white claws? They. Oh, yeah, they definitely did. See, for me. OK. This is, they but they were eight dollars each. Holy shit! I know, I know, and I wanted to be like, I saw a bunch in the gift shop on the way in. They might be cheaper. I but don't probably know not. how if I've seen them in the wild. I feel like they're like a house party drink. No, they. Were, I love how much fucking promo we're giving them, I, and we are non spawn y'all. Not spawn at all. I'm just. It's one of those things when you start talking about it and you watch the rise of it from mm-hmm. the sidelines. It's like watching an athlete like go from like junior leagues to like yeah. the professional like, leagues. I'm proud like, of you. Good job to the marketing team for this, for having Absolutely. people like us accidentally talk about it to no end. For six <laughs> minutes on a podcast. Yeah. They're not getting paid for it all. Uh, well, I like that lady. How was... Uh, the casino in general was it one of those casinos that like is actually it was a, 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 a finished basement it was <laughs> it was like, very silly oh, i've walked to the vicinity in four seconds it was very silly it was in the middle of nowhere which everything in massachusetts in the western massachusetts is in the middle of nowhere so it seems like they tried to put like a dave and busters but they didn't Ooh. get permission so they did everything else that they could that's uh, uh, similar to dave and busters like they just have a a casino that's relatively small and then they have a top golf they have a Ooh. bowling alley they have just like a in the sports same bar. vicinity or in, in the same town in the same vicinity it's like this weird <gasps> it's a dream it's literally this like two block by four block like adult theme park and I then it. It, elliot performed in this weird castle that was like an original building that was there in massachusetts and so it was all very bizarre but also like the next day we were like let's venture out and see what's around we walked like a little bit out we're like let's go back to the it's casino yeah, yeah, totally. there's absolutely nothing here did i tell you at the end of the summer uh steve and i uh, y'all listening that's like an old school friend yeah. same oh, first of all same first uh sketch group yes that the both of us on also steve found the first sketch we did called everyone loves grace and emailed it to me last week so we're he gonna have to, found it he found it he went oh back to like 2000 was he the one that wrote it he must have been then. oh that's even more fucked up i know that's i'm like how does he have someone God else's word file that's so true <laughs> oh fuck okay sorry i am burping from this kombucha i oh. mean the mother is inside Ooh. of her Ew, mother <laughs> I hate um, that. but we went to palm springs and steve loves a roulette moment yeah so he was like can we stop by the casino i'm like honestly i've been here 500 times i've never gone we go in and it felt like one of those like mini casinos yeah but then it turned into the scene from vegas vacation really quick you know when like uh, clark and whatever the cousin's name they go to a casino oh well anyway they go to the shittiest casino and it's literally like the games are guess a number between one and ten or like (laughs) or like the the casino person's holding out their hands and they guess which hand so we go up to roulette and we're looking at it and it's not the it's very weird it's not like the what is it the marble or something lands on red or black yeah we go steve puts money down it's a wheel like wheel of fortune Wait, they spin a like they horizontal spin a, wheel? They spin or no, a, a vertical wheel rather than a horizontal wheel? Well, they spin a wheel and then when it stops, they pull out a card that says red or black. What? It was so weird. So Steve puts money, he's like thinking about doing it. We're like, what is this fucking like yeah. t- shitty version of, of roulette? Steve puts money down. The guy pulls the card, is like black, blah, blah, blah. Everyone starts 
pushing in their money. They've lost it. Uh -huh. And one guy just goes, you pulled the wrong card. <gasps> There's too much room and for error. And he just goes, oh, you're right. And like everyone got their money back. But I'm like, you can't do that in a casino. No, you can do it with La La Land and Moonlight, but you can't do that with Damn. a casino. Damn. <laughs> I love that callback. I love that callback. That was very good. This is why I play electronic games, because yeah. if they're going to fuck well, me over, then I know that I have no one to complain to. But yourself. <laughs> yeah. For trusting a computer. I did win $80 on electronic did roulette, you? though. Yeah. How much did you bet? Or was this slow increments you got? This was, um, I think I probably, well, it's hard to say because, I mean, in terms of like buying dinners and lunch and whatever, uh, in terms of just betting, I think I probably came out even. Really? Yeah. That's all you can ask for. Yeah. The price of admission, you yeah, know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you got the show. Okay, so what else was going on in Massachusetts? Not much, but I will say, to go back to taking mm -hmm. a red eye to Massachusetts. Oh, fuck. I have a major apology to make to um, the man that was sitting in front of me on the plane because wow. we we got in a red eye and I, you know, we've traveled so much that I yeah. just assume I can handle travel. Like I've seen you sleep with your eyes half open yeah, multiple times in an 18 passenger van, like yep. with, on a screaming. bumpy road. Yeah. And so I thought I could handle it. And then we got there. We had some drinks. We get on the flight. I like paid to upgrade our seats so we could have a little bit more leg room. So you that got that comfort. I got that comfort plus. And because I was like, I we really need to sleep on You're this both flight. You're tall people too. Exactly. You know? And the flight wasn't fully um, booked. And so the comfort plus had an extra seat. Like we were <gasps> two in a row of three. Hell yeah. But then immediately after takeoff, the guy in front of me reclined his seat all the way back mm -hmm. and i was just like immediately claustrophobic and i in my tipsy state purposely kicked the back of the seat stop it grace helbig who I know. are you i don't know i felt terrible about it and You're i tried to cover it up twos. i tried to cut i was a pouty little teenager on that flight and i tried to cover it up by being like i'm just shifting i'm just shifting. wait did you do like one <laughs> Like one powerful thrust yes, and then immediately realize like, who do you think you are? Yeah. And this <gasps> man didn't, did he notice? Not at all. Not at all. But I knew, OK, I got him. I let him know that this because it was one of those things where the person next to him like reclined a little bit. And so we still had enough room. I just could not fall asleep the whole time. And Holy this guy shit. was like in my lap. And I was like, man, and I paid to upgrade these seats. That's the worst. But, you know, you're going to get the full I know and recline on a red eye. I know, and it's also my fault for not like for feeling too sh ashamed to do that to the person behind me. So that's why I was like, ah, this is a me problem. But the person behind you was probably fully reclined too. Probably, like all for one. Probably all passed out. No, I'm the same way though. I definitely sometimes don't fully recline because I don't want to be that person. Right, right. Who's you know. Uh, TV screen is then like in your face. Yeah, exactly. But you got to It's every man for himself. I know. Really? I know that. So I, I couldn't believe I did that. And then I was like, honk, she, honk, that she, is honk, very she, out of character. I know. And so that set the tone for the whole weekend. Did, uh, were you like extra nice to him when you guys landed and you know you have like the morning where everyone's like here comes the juice and the bagels <laughs> everyone we can forget what happened over the course of the night yes sir i smelled your farts all night but all today's night. a new day no it was um it was totally fine everyone got off the plane at like 6 a.m so no, no one's, one's making eye talking. contact with anyone it was one of those things where everyone's like amazed that they're like walking zombies off <laughs> yeah, of this plane that their legs still work oh gosh Let's be honest, getting in shape isn't just about losing weight, all right? It's about feeling better about yourself. You know, going out with your girlfriends, going dancing, and not getting out of breath the second you drop it low. Or finally fitting into those sweet ass jeans from college that have been stuffed into the back of your closet for so many years, but you finally want to squeeze back in. Or sometimes losing weight is just about self-care. Luckily, there is an app called Noom that can help you with all of that. I know when I'm trying to drop a couple LBs, I become a straight up hermit because that way if I stay inside, I can count my calories and I won't be tempted to do other things. Well, no more. Noom will help you be able to go out again. Don't stay at home because you don't want to be tempted. Learn to resist temptations. Be comfortable in social environments and trust your ability to make good choices. You know, Noom is not a diet. It's a healthy and easy stick to way of life. And we're all strapped for time. Guess what? Noom, you check in. It's 10 minutes a day. 
That's how long I sit on the toilet in the morning. All right, only 10 minutes. And you have a goal specialist, a specific person you can talk to about what you want to get done and the entire Noom community to support your goals at hand. You don't have to change it all in one day. Small steps make big progress. So sign up for your trial today at Noom, N-O-O-M dot com slash weird. That is Noom, N-O-O-M dot com slash weird. What do you got to lose? Besides some weight, if you feel like it. You guys, everyone loves the feeling of winning. We all know this, especially the feeling of winning the holidays. So if you were giving everyone Bombas socks this holiday, you deserve a spot in the Holiday Gifting Hall of Fame because as cliche and stupid as it sounds to get people socks for, you know, the holidays, as an adult, it is truly the most significantly rewarding gift. (laughs) It is so actually necessary to give and to get, and Bombas has you covered. Did you know that socks are the number one most requested item in homeless shelters? Bombas socks were created to change that. For every pair you buy, Bombas donates a pair to someone in need. Their socks are soft. They're not just, like, pretty soft. They're, like, made with the softest cotton in the world type of soft and they're built with extra cushioning so no matter whether you're walking your aggressive dog not to call goose out but you know goose hey uh or if you're chilling at home playing drums or saving the world you will be comfortable they provide support in places you didn't even know you needed it much like our podcast uh you got arches i'm a high arch person um and these socks truly comfort support and like really just make my arches feel special they got a special arch support system that's supportive but it's not too tight it's like a real nice wanted hug around the foot and you know the person who's just a gift enigma like completely impossible to shop for Well, Bombas is the gift that even that person will love. Everybody will. If you want to give someone a perfectly nice gift, give them a candle. If you want the holiday to be uh, more special than that, give them Bombas. So go to bombas.com slash TMGW today and get 20% off your first purchase. That's Bombas, B-O-M-B-A-S dot com slash TMGW. Bombas.com slash TMGW for 20% off your first purchase. Speaking of attitude. Yeah, tell me. So, uh, I don't mean to brag, but I had my period this week. Oh, congratulations. Not pregnant again. I know. Happy non-Father's Day. Mm -hmm. But I was talking to Chip Uh and I had my notes open because I was giving him my TSA number. Yeah. uh, Which more on that later because we were booking flights. But I didn't realize my voice was recording. (laughs) And and this is what it says. Okay. (laughs) Wait. So your voice was recording while you were reading? No, while I was talking to Chip. Where I was like, if I was being testy or something in the moment, this is what I said. I said, what? God, you don't. Like hormones are like pretty intense on your period, right? <laughs> I've been chill today, actively chill. That's what it says. <laughs> hormones are like pretty intense on your period, right? I've been real chill today, actively chill. Instead of that passively chill. <laughs> I mean, I am defending myself being like, hey, hey, I could be a monster. I have been like knowingly, presently chill. Oh. So that guy was like, oh, you got me there. Amazing. You got me there, voice record. Wow. Um, so my mirror. Oh, oh, well, first of all, okay. We haven't spoken about the live show we did. Yeah, we did a a little. No, 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 we haven't. Our last episode was just the full live show. No, 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 I'm saying yes, we haven't spoken about it. But let me tell you, I mean, we had a great time. I'm sure you guys saw online when we were at our meet and greet. Like you guys know, I was dressed as a cockroach in a tutu throwback throwback. When we were at our meet and greet, someone gave me a tiny fake cockroach with a little tiny tutu on yes. it and i was like holy shit where do you get a tutu that small and he was like i sewed it like i saw yeah. the threads he sewed a tiny pink tutu oh my god so we're doing our meet and greet i don't have pockets on this costume right uh-huh. so what i don't realize is i come home that night i'm getting ready for bed i take off my bra no. i put that cockroach in my titty That's- and I- <laughs> And there was about a minute solid there. The tutu had fallen off where I thought a cockroach fell out of my titty. 
<laughs> That's where you Full. put your debit card. I was so like, you don't have oh, well, thank you for my cute cockroach. <laughs> stuck it in my boobs. So then I'm sure I like, I like kicked it immediately. I was like, what the fuck? That motherfucker got me again today. I accidentally washed it <laughs> with my dirty clothes and it fell out of my dryer today. Uh, oh my God. So wherever you are listening who gave me the cockroach with a tutu, just know that it scared the shit out of me twice. Yeah, the, it's the gift that keeps on giving. I hate it. Oh, I love it. Fake cockroaches are pretty realistic looking. I mean, that's a critter corner. Total critter corner because it was back here. <sighs> yeah. Um, also, speaking of Halloween, yeah. I have to give major kudos to my favorite costume that I saw <gasps> over the whole course of Halloween Instagrams, tweets, etc. What was it? Corey Cool, Sally sells oh. seashells by the seashore. You guys, our friend Corey Cool, who oh. is the co-host with Tyler on their podcast, Psycho Babble. Oh, he was literally a woman named Sally with like a tr- trench over, coat, trench overcoat, selling seashells on the like, inside, like, like a watch guy at Battery Park. Yeah, he's like, you want to buy some seashells? seashells? Anyone want some seashells? Sally with like here. this little bob wig. It, it was so good. I laughed so hard seeing that. So kudos to you, Corey. I God, you really you nailed Halloween for me well speaking of halloween wigs Mm -hmm. okay so chip had a great idea for the two of us to go as the end of ghostbusters right he's the rick moranis character i'm the sigourney weaver dana barrett but when she's possessed yeah now we have talked we have talked on this podcast about how i got accidentally too high and ate some edibles yes on a rooftop screening of ghostbusters yes and chip went to sleep and i was like this movie sucks (laughs) Like, I was so stoned that I was like, nothing that's coming out of one of these Ghostbusters mouth is funny. I was so pissed. I was like, these these legends. Meanwhile, the Paul Feig one gets, you know, massacred. But so originally I was like, oh, well, now I'm going to be a character from a movie that I was shitting on. But to be fair, Sigourney Weaver looks so hot at the end of that that uh, I was like, I'll do it. Yeah. I'll bite the bullet and look hot for Halloween. One, yeah, one of the reasons to look hot, but it wasn't my idea. Yeah. Um, so anyway, I she's wearing this crazy outfit that's off the shoulder, whatnot. I was mm-hmm. like, I looked online everywhere for a dress like that, nothing. So I just went and bought four yards of fabric. Yeah. Cut a hole in the middle for my head and shoulders to go through. Then like put it over me like a poncho or like a sandwich board. Yeah. Took the back, wrapped it around me, safety pinned it twice, and then put a belt on. It's my favorite dress of all time. You I am f- Diane von Furstenberg. You did a full RuPaul's Drag Race sewing challenge. I mean, <laughs> honestly, Grace, I was looking at like, what are other materials I could buy and just make this dress for a red carpet and like a go. green velvet or yeah. something? Oh, girl. It was sexy as hell. Yeah. Anyway, so I figured that out. But then Dana Barrett has this like, she has my mom's hair from the 80s. Okay. It's a perm. Yes. It's like almost a... My like hair a sh- from high school, yeah. It's like a full tight curl perm. Mm. Um, but, you know, like fuller on top and then it kind of like teeters down. Yeah, cascades like, down, but not really cascades. It's tight spirals. Yeah, tight spirals. Um, a little bit like a, a short, taut mullet. Yeah, so like I, a poodle. <laughs> like, oh, but like a sexy poodle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? One of them that gives a shit about what they look like. Yeah, like <laughs> recently got their glands squeezed. Like... <laughs> A looking good poods, you know, a pood who can go nude. <laughs> a pood's about to go nude. Oh, yeah, a pood who slips her own nudes. So I am looking online for for wigs, not really finding anything, and I waited till the last minute. Like I made the dress yeah. for Halloween at 4 p.m. on Halloween when people were coming over at 5:30. I mean, you, to be fair, had to spend a lot of your Halloween prep getting your roach well, in a tutu costume, roach in a tutu, and other stuff for Halloween. Yeah, <laughs> but so I'm like, fuck. I need a wig, but I want to try it on. I can't risk an Amazon same day. Right. And meanwhile, Chip has like gone to Home Depot and gotten grommets oh. and wires and I was made over this here, helmet. Yeah, when he was in the back, he just came in with the colander. And he's like, I just took the handles off this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I couldn't even handle him that night. He was like so focused that he was like in such a mood. And I'm like, step out of your body. You're working on a Rick Moranis <laughs> colander. Everyone relax. Oh, but to be fair, we all love our DIY. We do. And he takes it. I don't want to see him on Drag Race. Uh, uh, Truly, we'll be kicked out the first week. But so I'm like, I'm going to look for a wig store. Mm -hmm. Right. So they have a million in Hollywood, of course, because of whatnot. But I saw that one was like 0.3 miles away in Glendale, which is, is a suburb. So it says California Wig Company or something of that sort. Sounds completely legitimate. Totally legit. I walk in there 
and I quickly realized I'm it's trapped. a California pizza kitchen. It's, no, I wish. I wish. Oh my god, have you ever had? They'll put two different soups in the same bowl. They're it's crazy. fucking crazy. They will put their tomato soup and their like split pea soup in the same bowl, and they will stay in their own lane like a yin yang. I mean, there's no laws with California Pizza Kitchen, but that uh, doesn't roll off the tongue as much. It doesn't. It doesn't. <laughs> um, but there's no bitching in the kitchen. Um, so anyway, I walk into this wig store. You know, the little ding oh. closes behind me, and now I'm just in this this room that's just you know fake human heads with right. wigs on them everywhere and one woman in her 60s who stands up to help me and i'm like i'm trapped oh no see that's why i'd be so scared that i need to be in a target where there are so many people and so Mm-mm. many people that are working there that don't care to help anyone no i had the moment where i was like just lean in <laughs> so of course i'm like hello ma'am how are you she's like good are you working are you looking for a wig i was like yes she's and she was she uh, she was like um like, a mystic <laughs> like persian i'm not sure i can't okay. I, I can't do an accent but it was like very like sweet and roll it, or yeah. like eastern europe i don't know guys i'm sorry but she was like a sweet woman with straight blonde hair and like frosted pink mouth right wow. and i'm like oh yes i'm looking for a wig and and then she's like what kind of wig so i show the picture mm-hmm. at the end of ghostbusters and she starts walking me around to the different wigs right yeah. and i'm like so how, how great store how long have you been here she's like 30 years like you guys are on a speed date right i'm now. truly like like i'm doing an investigative reporting about wig stores she's like 30 years i was like oh that's amazing wow. she pulls away she goes this is perfect she pulls out it looks nothing like the hair right and she's I'm, just like this is a better hairstyle for you yeah and it's like 60 dollars, right and okay. i go oh i go this one's very long she goes no it's the color with the curls uh, it's perfect for th- for this and i go well i just feel bad like getting a wig that's so long if i'm gonna cut a bunch of it like yeah. that's uh, it's 60 dollars. she goes this is not the halloween wig <laughs> she goes these are nice wig for everyday wear (laughs) and i was like okay 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 so i show her the picture again i was like anything closer to this she goes no this is it like like i wasn't even allowed to leave i had to buy this wig wow and she goes and so i go okay i mean i guess it'll work and then she takes me puts me in a seat i have a salon seat in the back and she's gonna style it on my head (sighs) so you're stuck so at this point yeah she thinks that i just want to look like this woman yeah. at the end of Ghostbusters. <laughs> she makes me put on a wig cap, which has been worn by multiple other people, by the way. Oh. She pulls it out of like a crusty little drawer. This is like a Payless shoe source where they get those little footies yes! and they're like, try it on. I'm like, people keep putting these back in thinking that this is the garbage. These yes! are not new footies. <laughs> okay, two things. One, when I was little, I was like free stocking feet. Yeah. I would like take them. And yeah. second, have you ever at like a cafe that's trying to be more green, like stirred your coffee and then realized you've gotten it out of the used one? what sometimes at coffee shops they'll be like the spoons fresh spoons and used spoons i've like twice done that and been like use the used spoon (laughs) i have not yet done that Uh, but i can believe that that's in my future pay attention yes Uh, (laughs) if i can heed any advice pay attention so anyway i'm sitting in this store surrounded by fake heads and this woman in her 60s picking out this wig on my hair and she starts lightly trimming it and like with like so vi- she's styling it on your head. She is cutting this wig while I'm wearing it. We're the only people there. It is dead silent. So to her, it's <laughs> confirmed that you're buying this. Yes. This is it. She, oh, there's no way I'm leaving there. Oh, my God. Yeah, she's locked the door. She's locked. So anyway, <laughs> she trims it. Snip, snip, snip. And she's like, perfect. I was like, mm. I was like, let's refer to the photo again. <laughs> I've now pulled out this photo 800 times. She's like, oh, yeah, no, it's fine. And, and I go, I'm going to need you to cut it shorter. And she goes, no. It's too beautiful of a wig. And I go, wait, but I'm buying it. I was like, this doesn't look like her. She goes, it's a very nice wig. It's not a Halloween wig. (laughs) Oh, my God. It looks beautiful. And I go, yeah, but it doesn't look like the character. And she goes, no, I refuse. (gasps) And I was like, "Uh, okay. I mean, now I'm fighting with a woman while wearing a Sigourney Weaver (laughs) fucking wig. But I looked more like Tina Turner. And I was just like, well, okay, then. I guess I'll cut it at home. She goes, oh. This trims is- two more snips and then she's like perfect <laughs> so <laughs> i get up i pay for the wig i'm like okay we gotta I, I can't be fighting with this woman she's alone in this wig store all day yeah 
So then I go, well, thank you so much for your help. Here's to 30 more years of business. And she laughed so hard and then went, could you imagine if I have to live that long? (laughs) She, oh my God, she... I mean, I now want to look uh, up if that store was just like some urban a legend. Yeah. It just pops up the day before All Hallows Eve. But also, what an amazing marketing tactic to Truly. be like, uh, you're the only one in here. I'm going to give you personal you, attention uh, and put you in this chair and force you into buying this thing uh, and then tell you exactly how you should wear it. I, mean, I came home and just I hacked a good five inches of it, styled sure. it, was great. But the fact that she refused to cut it because it was too beautiful of a wig. I what? Wanna- I mean, now I want to go to the store and just be like, what do you recommend? Why don't we go back and let's (gasps) get short wigs? Or Or what if we just ask her, what does she recommend? We just want new looks and we let her style us. Some of the wigs are very expensive. Well, I'll say, here's my budget. I know she won't listen or believe or I'd buy by it in any way. Also, (laughs) I didn't call her out on it. What? But after I left. Did you get lice? (laughs) <laughs> no, 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 no. As I sit here itching with plastic on my head, there was a sign in the window that was like twenty percent off wigs for Halloween. Oh, she didn't give me no goddamn discount. She but just gave me two, tood. I mean, but to her credit, she it said audibly, "It was not a Halloween wig." Girl, I will go with you. I want to see Ugh. you in that chair getting styled by this woman. I, 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 need, I forget her name, but like, I think she's the only employee. Well, we'll go back and find out if she's still living because she clearly knows that her lifespan has an end date. Oh, she's thriving. <laughs> yeah, she was just, she laughed so hard. She goes, no one's ever said that. I go, okay. All right, um, great. I want to go back and show her pictures and be like, mm-hmm. <laughs> see what I did? Well, see, now I want to figure out like a, a person that I want to look like and yes. give her a photo and see how close to that she gets and just let her do her magic. Totally. Like... I, we have to think of someone that is specific enough that I could show her to be like, I want to look like this she's, and then see what she comes up she's with. She's a convincing salesman to the point where I bought a styrofoam head to style my wig <laughs> on. <laughs> Didn't even use it. She but she was <laughs> like, so we need a pick? I was like, sure. She goes, and, uh, and a head to style it on? I was like, uh, if you recommend that uh, and then I'm leaving with the styrofoam head well that's like you know you buy the car you get the air fresheners I guess so <laughs> but anyway it the costume ended up being perfect and it looked great if the guys, photos I saw looked amazing so many funny cute kids I just get drunk and like talk shit to kids and give them candy it's the best y'all let's talk about the holidays I know I get it. It is crazy early to be talking about the holidays, but I don't want another one to go by where you go home and you are forced into a family photo and you keep your mouth closed because you are embarrassed about your teeth. I get it. All right. I mean, yes, I have a beautiful gap teeth that sometimes big pieces of parsley get stuck in, but there are sometimes some jagged edge little incisors that you might want to take care of. Well, guess what? Candid can help you do that discreetly and lovely and quickly. Candid aligners help straighten your teeth faster than traditional wire braces. Treatment, guess what? It's six months. An experienced orthodontist who is licensed in your state creates a custom treatment plan. And then they show you a 3D preview so you can see how your teeth will look after you're done. Isn't it great to have like a goal photo to work towards? Candid's aligners are comfortable, removable, and completely invisible. So, you know, if you're going on a date, pop them out. Who gives a shit? Nothing's going to change. You don't have wires glued to your teeth. They ship your aligners directly to you, and there's no hassle of going to an orthodontist's office. And Candid, guess what, costs 65% less than braces. With each aligner purchase, Candid donates $25 to Smile Train, who brings 100% free cleft lip and palate treatments to children around the globe. So you're helping yourself look good while also doing good things. So get your photo ready smile by the holidays. Go to CandidCO.com slash TMGW and use code TMGW to get $75 off. Holy shit, that's a lot of money. That's candidco.com slash TMGW. Code TMGW for $75 off. Candidco.com slash TMGW. Code TMGW. Wow, you're welcome. I feel like Santa. Do they know like the thing that you invested in this year? Well, invested, I rented. Invested in a rental. Invested in a rental. It was on my Instagram. (laughs) 
So I told you, like, there were a couple years in a row, because we live in East L.A., that the Dodgers were, it was either the playoffs or the actual, like, Game 7 of the World Series yeah. uh, on Halloween night. And so what I would do is, because I have, like, two big French doors at the front of my house, is mm-hmm. I would leave those open, leave the game on, put out, like, a bottle of whiskey and say, Amazing. hey, I'll entertain your kid for 30 seconds if you want to go check the score. Because parents walked in to my front yard like just looking for the tv right uh, amazing so the dodgers weren't in it this year so i was like but it's so much fun like the parents deserve their night yeah so i rented a frozen margarita machine and i mean I, it was margaritaman.com non-spawned paid full price they come to your house with a cart with like a skirt around it so you can't see underneath. Right. How classy. Wheel it into your house. It's so heavy they say they won't deliver it if you have more than two stairs. Wow. Yeah. And the, Or maybe they need like extra muscle. Then they have this huge fucking margarita machine that's loud as hell. <laughs> and you have to like fill it with the margarita mix, like f- six bottles of tequila, and uh, four gallons of water. And you've got frozen margaritas in 40 minutes. That's bonkers. Yeah, again, I'm not being paid for this. But I will say the parents were shocked and in awe when we gave them roadie frozen margaritas. <laughs> well, like, that's it was like, fucking do you crazy. need a permit for this? How do you get away I with this? I was just kind of like, if I kids was... are walking around with <laughs> severed heads holding candy, true. like if a cop stops a parent because they've got what looks like a slushy. Yeah, true. And I did it in like darker glasses. But it like was kombucha. Yeah, well, yeah totally. <laughs> so, but it was great because we found a rhythm. So the kids would come up and, and I had probably like, you know, a handful, 10 people over. And they... We'd be handing out the candy and then Chip in his little Rick Moranis helmet <laughs> would go, we have candy for the kids, but we have frozen margaritas for the parents. <laughs> and the look on the parents face where they would they'd be like, uh, wait, are you serious? Record players. And scratch? then we'd like point and be like, yeah, we rented a fucking frozen margarita she- machine for the parents. It's your night, too. They'd be like, hell yes. Amazing. They'd be like. I mean, sometimes like the mom would stay outside of my yard with yeah. the stroller baby. They'd be like, Tammy, they got Margaret. Do you want a margarita? I had two parents come by that were like, you know, like Pink Panther and someone else. Uh-huh. And they came back. And they were like, can we get another margarita? <laughs> parents were coming through and going, like, we heard three blocks away uh, that you guys have margaritas. You're like, it's not a two drink maximum. You're welcome. It was amazing. I the margarita machine, I think made like 80 something margs per batch. And I was like, there's no way we're going to. We, we completely emptied the margarita machine. Oh, yeah. I mean, I can imagine if you're hearing that there's free margaritas around the corner. And we did like, you know, like smaller cups. But sure. really, it was great. Like people were like, what a great... uh, you're a hero. You're an American hero. But now <sighs> I'm scared for next year. Like, oh, I, I might have to go out of town. You're going to have to move. Like you're going to go to a new neighborhood and start this over so that there's well, no expectations. Yeah, what does it do? Like get a full liquor luge, like uh, a full op- bar and a taco. Have, you have to open a bar truck. You just have to open a bar. <laughs> My that's, house is a bar now. That's the only alternative. Uh, it was really fun, though. Um, I watched Dancing with the Birds. <laughs> I'm so oh yeah. Wait, is this so a you, is this a new planet Earth like? Yeah. Like and a it's spin-off the special of just birds that it's fucking bonkers. Okay, the very first podcast we did is when I got high and watched Planet Earth and yep. thought birds were gay. And you taught me about the the one that ruffs, ruffles up its feathers and does a dance. Yeah, and then they know that that's gained so much uh, fame notoriety mm-hmm. that there is now a like half hour, forty minute special called wow. Dancing with the Birds. <gasps> oh. My God. It might be what I do tonight. You have to. You have to because I would love to make a bonus podcast for our Patreon in which we That's just, just about to talk birds. about this. Because this podcast is for the birds. I I keep calling it a flight of fancy. It is. <laughs> I had. Okay. So the last night uh, in Massachusetts with Elliot, uh, he had to do two shows back to back. And so I like. And you're like, I love you, but that's a lot of yeah, stand up to I've watch. I've seen all of it. I stayed behind and was like getting some work done. And we had to leave super, super early in the morning. Mm-hmm. And so we just got a little high in the hotel and then watched Dancing with the Birds. It is the most incredible thing. I The last 10 minute segment wow. I thought was a deleted scene from Billy Elliot. It wow. is. They set it to music that goes, you know, the song that's like, uh, I was dancing when I was 12. And it's the whole. No, I have no idea what that song is. You and- know this song. Uh, it's, oh my what? God. 
Hold Grace, on. Grace, you know no songs, but the one song you know. You know. I was like, dancing when I was 12. Oh, no, uh, let's not. No, we don't have the rights. What's, who sings it? Uh, it's called, I don't, T-Rex Cosmic da- Dancer, but it's literally like a song from every like movie. All right. Well, we'll take it offline. Guys, you have to listen so to it. So they got the rights to songs to set to birds. They, I think, did some, you know, Traits. their versions of it. Uh, oh, they kids bopped it? Yeah, they ki- it's kids bop. Okay. Uh, but the whole last scene is just a choreographed, like this one bird has nine choreographed steps that it does for its routine. Okay. I can't even begin to explain it. Is it like a bird flash mob or it's a singular it's bird? It's a singular bird. And okay. he has his own, they call him Bob in the uh, series. It's amazing. They I can't invested. recommend it enough. It is I was screaming in the hotel room <laughs> watching this. I so, just wish I was the room next door where uh, it's like 10 a.m. And you're here screaming at me like, that bird can like, fucking dance. Yeah, it was just me going, I can't handle this. This is too much. I can't I, handle this. Yep. Um, speaking of not being able to handle something, hmm. and thank you for that gift of the birds. Oh, yeah. I will be watching it tonight. But also... I have the actual birthday gift that you sent here. Oh, yeah. That you Amazon to my house, yes. hoping that it would be delivered before we recorded my podcast that week. But yes. it didn't. But it's been sitting here. OK. Yeah. Okay. I, I hope that things are in there. So I got Mamrie a birthday gift that I wanted to open on the podcast um, on her birthday or right around her birthday. Well, technically, my birthday was September 22nd. And now I'm opening your gift. I don't have your gift yet. But yours was five days after mine. So now I have five days. <laughs> <laughs> to find a gift for you. This is more a gift for the podcast and for you. Okay, there's two boxes. Should I open one first? Um, hold on. Let me see. One of them has a battery in it. Let me see this one. Okay. Let me see. Both of them look like open you couldn't get a plane on it. Okay. Open that one first. I and love then a open gift that one. there's a sticker that shows like shit will catch on fire. Oh, and this one is too. I don't know okay. why. I hope these are the right things. Is this ASMR? I guess so. And if you guys want to watch Mamie open this, make sure you go to our YouTube channel. This might get youtube.com slash this might get. Um, and you can watch her unbox these birthday gifts. I'm not good at it, though. OK. OK, we got the box. Mm hmm. What is this? Huh? Oh, I forgot. I got a gift wrapped <laughs> inside. Oh, of the box. thank you. Oh, do we leave? Do we have a note? <laughs> Happy birthday, Mames. Don't lose this. Love, Grace. OK. Is it a vibrator? Oh my, oh, the anticipation which I by know. the way can i just say chip sent me like a mrs fields cookie cake or something on my birthday and they didn't understand emojis so the the thing said happy birthday i love you and then a tiny heart <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah. opening oh my god they really fucking wrapped they really this. wrapped it Ooh, <gasps> luna you got me a vibrator i got you a vibrator Oh my god, I'm into oh this. Oh wait, you have to open up the second part wait, of it. Oh god, that looks like like a class like that vibrator has good graphic design. It was highly recommended on Amazon for me purchasing it morning of to get delivered same day. Oh, so, damn. I can't. Special shout out to the people who came to our live podcast dressed as my two Hitachi oh, vibrators that amazing. are um resting in peace with someone else somewhere. Oh my god, another gift. Cut wrapped i didn't know amazon even did this i know i thought they would wrap these together but very fun and also very cumbersome to open did you do another card i think it says the same thing enjoy your gift oh yeah, <laughs> no, 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 yeah this one i was like i don't want to write it <laughs> okay i'm unwrapping the second one whoa very asmr I know, i'm killing it and now i'm just <laughs> and this is <gasps> Is yeah. this the thing you put on it so if you lose it, you yeah. can track it? Yeah. Oh, uh, my God. This is a duo for the fucking ages. Technically, a tile is, I assume, for keys and yes. phones and such like that. But I feel like you can duct tape it to your vibrator. And so you oh, will find it wherever you need God. it. Oh, my God. Grace, <laughs> this is a perfect combination. I think they should sell these. T- See, OK, now if I had my my Amazon store. Right. These would be the recommended purchase together. Right. That's such a good idea. 
idea. Also, I feel like the tile, you lose shit all the time. I do. That this might just be helpful. These could be two independent gifts or two collective gifts. Wow. <laughs> Thank you so much. You are welcome. Happy birthday. Oh, God. Also, that's a real friend. Get you a vibrator and a way to locate your vibrator. I know. I ordered this stuff and then I'd ask Elliot. I was like, is it weird that I just bought my friend a vibrator for her birthday? Hell no. <laughs> it's fantastic. I am moved. There you I go. will text you the second I get off. Please <laughs> don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh my note. God. On that note, you guys go to our Patreon, patreon.com slash this might get weird. Um, it's uh, lots of fun stuff happening. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll post a picture of this with the tile <laughs> attached on there. And uh, this got weird. Mm-hmm. <laughs>